Hey homies, welcome back. Today I have a video using this lovely little um, Christmas cactus die and this is going to be given away at the end of the video. So stick around, watch me make the card and find out how to enter to win. So we've got two branch pieces and then one piece that's got the flower. So I've got my papers here. I've got a green, a nice shade of pink and a little bit of white. And then I have some mowed lawn to edge the branch pieces with. Let me get my little buddy out and we'll start cutting. So very carefully pull these off of here. Keep our double sided tape intact. All right, got it lined up on there. Give it a pass through. And then there's what we have. All right, so I'll cut the rest of these out and I'll be back. All righty, for our leaves, we've got some mowed lawn. And I'm gonna use, instead of the big blender, I'm gonna use this little one. These are from Ranger and I've had them for a long, long time. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a little on the edges here, just to kind of liven them up. This is a really good way to make your die cuts look maybe a little more realistic or a little more fancy. Just ink them up a little bit. So I'm just going to go around the edges of each one and just give them a little something extra. All right, let's start shaping these. So you've got these pieces here. Aren't they cute? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stylus and kind of run it right along. And if you have the Spellbinders um, toolkit, it's got what they call a looping tool on it, which will work really, really well for this. But then you're just gonna take your scissors, or your scissors, your tweezers and fold this over on that line that you made. Give it a little bit of dimension. You could always spritz this with water if you wanted it to be a little more bold. Um, but since this is going on a card, that will eventually go in the mail, right? I don't want it to be too, too dimensional. Now, if I were doing the home decor piece, oh yeah, I'd be bending the heck out of it. But since it's going on a card this time, I don't want it to be too crazy. So that's it. And then you get a nice little relatively realistic piece of a cactus. Now this die is discontinued, um, but I did find the designer, she, she has some videos on how to put a lot of her stuff together. Um, she does a lot of dimensional florals and things. So I will link to the video of hers that I found putting this together um, in the description so that when you get your die set you can just come right back i'm going to do three of these after all and click on that and get the way she puts them together so i did white for my flower centers and then we've got our pink flowers we're going to punch them out i'm going to show you how to put one together i'm going to again do a little mark on them and then just take my tweezer and bend it. So you want to flip them over so it's pretty sides down. 
just give them a little work over with your stylus or you could probably even use like a popsicle stick or something. I'll give them a little, little bend. I don't know if you all remember, but Tim Holtz had us doing this stuff for a while. And it is fun. You forget. And then we're going to flip it over each piece and take our ball stylus and smush it around the center. I'm going to use the bigger side. Actually, I think we want the pretty side up. Pretty side up. Smash it around so that it makes your petals cup. I'll go ahead and give these a little... A little bit of a bendy bend. And I would suggest making sure your tweezers are clean when you do this. So you don't have globs of glue all over your pretty little flowers. This would even be pretty if you had a white core pink paper. And then you sanded it a little bit. And you could get some white striations in your flowers. There we go. I didn't hold on to that very well. center again. All right. And then the way you're going to put these together is pretty simple. You're going to, you know, the most petals at the bottom and then the middle and then the, the last set. So we're going to use some craft tacky glue and a toothpick since these are tiny pieces here. And then we'll just take, so your, your bottom one is one, two, three, four, five, six petals. The next will be four petals. Actually, I'm just going to dip it. Then you attach your four petal onto your six and try to offset them so you know your petals aren't completely lined up. But you want a little, a little extra something, something in there. And then you take your four. Put that on. And I like to press down in there with my toothpick. And then for your center, you're going to use these pieces. And what you're going to do is she gave us a little tail on here. So we're going to hold the tail with our tweezer. Put a little bit of glue along this bottom line. And then we're going to roll it. So hopefully you can see this. So we're going to roll it. There we go. Gonna hold it together for a few seconds to make sure it grabs. And then dip this in some glue. And we're going to set this off to the side to dry. And once it's dry, we'll kind of fluff it back up again. So my suggestion is make a bunch of these and set them off to the side. That way you have them. They're ready to go because it is a little tedious to put together. Now for this card, I thought I would do a slim line. I haven't made a slim, a slim line card in quite a while. And then we've got our pieces. I also have a piece of this crochet trim, which uh, is one of my favorite things on the planet. <laughs> I have a bunch of this cut and stashed away because I love it so very much. 
And this is a pink and white, kind of a gingham check. And I'm going to make these kind of coming off the edge of the card. So again, I'm just going to use my toothpick with some glue. And I'm not going to glue these down completely flat. I'm going to let them be kind of free. I think I want them hanging. Because if you've ever seen a Christmas cactus, they kind of burst and hang over their pot. So I think I want to make these the same way. A little bit of glue. Should I add one more? I think I shall. So let's give this a quick bendy bend. I feel like I want one more. You know, sometimes that happens, doesn't it? You think you're done, and then you're like, psych! Now, if you don't want to do flowers, too, you can just do a bud on the end with some um, whatever dimensional stuff you have. Nouveau, nouveau drops, um, pops of color, liquid pearls, any of that stuff. Pretty much just at the end so it can be dimensional but still flat enough that this can go through the mail and not get ripped to shreds you know there we go and let's see let's put you right about there now once your glue is dry on your center of your flower you're going to take these little things, I don't know what they're called, from the center though, and just kind of frill them out a little bit. Now Susan actually cut them, and I couldn't find my cutter bees, so I didn't do that because you need teeny tiny scissors for that. So you just kind of pull that out a little bit, and then you're going to decide where you would like to put your flower which I think I'm going to put mine on the end of this one right here. Just a little pop of color there. Then my second one. And you could put flowers on as much as you want or as little as you want. Like I said, I think I'm going to do some buds on here. And then just do a little tweaking. A little glue. This one's not quite dry, so I haven't pulled the, uh, the center apart yet. I'll let that dry a little longer. And then let me show you using the drops to put buds on. Okay, so I don't have the appropriate color of pops of color, but I have this red and I have this pink. I'm going to mix them together. We're going to mix these two colors together, and I think it'll be a closer match. Yeah, that's much better. And then, let's 
take some of it. And add it to the end. Make it look like there's a bit there. And since this is dimensional, it'll it'll be a very good facsimile of a bud. Never fear, you can always mix your colors together. So all these dimensional products, you know, we feel like we have to have every color. It is nice to have every color for sure, but really you can mix them up. Don't ever feel pressured. Like, oh my gosh, but I don't have every color. We all get the FOMO, man. And FOMO can be our downfall. Okay, let's put this one. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and we'll come back to it. Okay, everything's dry. Look how cute, right? Pull this little center apart. Oh, and I did find my cutter bees so I can cut those and show you how that looks. So you need super tiny, super sharp scissors because these are not very big. Just cut them so it makes them skinnier. I've got some pink dots that match the this pink. So we're going to use these. This is going to be a thank you card. Thanks a bunch. I actually have a little piece of the green to map this on. So let's go ahead and do that. this right on the screen and then we'll trim around it we'll put the sentiment on with some foam I just have my little fun foam scraps here which are awesome cut this one in half Right about there. Thanks a bunch. And then we'll add some pink dots. And then for the inside, because you know I don't like naked insides, I'm just going to take one of these flowers and layer it up in the bottom corner and then just put a dot in the center of it. There we go. Always have to have something inside. Okay, to enter to win this die set, I, I want you to do two things for me. I need a comment. I would like you to tell me how long you've been paper crafting, whether that's scrapbooking, cards, whatever. If you play with paper, how long have you been doing that? And then secondly, in your comment, I also need either your email address or your Instagram handle. The only way I'm gonna contact you is through Instagram or an email, and it will come from my email address, which is reflections with a K in it from Gmail. Um, I'm going to leave this open for a full week from today. And then on the seventh day, about 10 o'clock my time, I'll use the random number generator to pick a winner. Um, you'll have a couple days to answer me back. If you don't, then I'll pick someone else. 
Um, this is a really, really cute set. I like it more than I thought I would. Um, so remember, comment, how long have you been paper crafting? Let me know how to get a hold of you and maybe you can win this die set. And I'm going to have a couple of cards that I've made with this in there and some extra goodies as well. So happy crafting. Remember, be excellent to each other. Go make something. Bye-bye.